Cruz? Lucky guess. Power of positive thinking. I, I didn't get to see you before you left in the morning, and I, I was... Well, I'm downtown, darling. I, I have a couple things i got to take care of. Is she pretty? <laughs> She's gorgeous. Can't wait to get home and see her. Her mom ain't that either. So, do you think you're going to get back anytime soon? Well, it may be a while, but I'll break loose as soon as I can. There's something I need to sit down and talk to you about. Okay. You know something? I think so, but tell me anyway. I love you. you tell me that as many times as you need to, Dylan. You know, I was thinking. I think I love you too much. How could that happen? Well, I mean, what's it mean when somebody sits around and thinks how lucky they are all the time? It means I better hurry home. I'll be waiting. It's good you're finally going to tell her. How about losing your job, I mean? Somebody paying you to listen in on my conversations, too? I'm a private eye. It's reflexes. Yeah, why don't you concentrate on the case at hand? Speaking of which, what have you got? Well, I got the job investigating the warehouse robberies. Whatever you said to Barr worked. The doc bosses didn't say anything about the charges he was holding over me. He must have dropped them. Uh, I'm on the case. Well, don't sound so thrilled about it. I feel bad. You're out of work and you're helping me get a job you're ten times more qualified for. It's not like we've been best friends for life or anything. Would it make you feel any better if I told you we're going to both be on the job? It would if I knew what you meant. I think something big is going to come down with this case. I think there's somebody with a lot of pull involved, a lot of muscle. You have to have it knocked down from high priority to almost no priority whatsoever as far as the investigation is concerned and to get me kicked off the force before I can find out what's going on. Now, I want to find out who that somebody is. So, you're going to be working through me. Unless you have an objection, you have a silent partner. Now, this doesn't seem like your kind of hangout. And I suppose you come here all the time? Only on wet t-shirt night. Jack Dante and Mason Capwell. We met. The world gets smaller all the time. Mr. Dante and I, uh, we're working together on a case. You work too hard. You need to take a vacation. Somebody needs to pay the bills, Mason. How's Eden? She's okay. Maybe even good. Can I have a word with you? Yeah, I'm going to make a phone call. Let me just sit down and let me see. All right. So, what do we do now, partner? I want you to go to the uh, foreman of the Parkside Warehouse and tell them you're going to put somebody in undercover. That'll be me. Won't they recognize you? You told me the doc bosses were going to hire you to handle the job. Well, I'm going to go in there tonight after the place is closed up. I just don't want some security guard taking a pot shot at me. Why did the workers leave, anyway? Uh, six. Okay, that would give me just enough time to get home to evening and tell them what's been going on. You want me in the warehouse with you? No, I think I'll keep a lower profile of going by myself, so we just stay close to your phone and we'll call you. What are you going to do if the hit goes down while you're there? Well, I'll tell you if and when that happens. we got to take this one step at a time. He's not here. You want to talk to him? I didn't realize what time it, it was. I, I should check him at the office. Okay, well, listen, if you don't want to go to the office, you can just leave a message with me. No, that's all right. I better talk to him myself. Julia, you mean, um, I sort of figured you knew that he lost his job. He told you? No, I, I found out by accident. Well, um, I did too. <laughs> I found out the same way. And I'm sorry that I brought it up. I should No, really. You don't need to apologize. I mean, he's just embarrassed. Or he feels guilty or something, you know? I mean, after all, the reason he lost his job was because of all the personal obligations he had to me about Robert Barr. Well, you know, he'll find a job in no time at all. He's the best there is at what he does. Yeah, I know. He's just hurting. Why don't you bring it up? I mean, now that you already know what he's trying to protect you from. No, I don't want to do that. He'll tell me when he's ready. Well, I set him up on some interviews. I don't know if he followed up on any of them. 
Well, he leaves every morning about 6.30, and he's gone all day, so I guess he's going on them. Ironic. Cruz loses his job, and I'm married to a man who has more jobs than he knows what to do with. Mason just hasn't figured out who he wants to be. <laughs> well, Cruz has. Although they are a lot alike. They're both proud and independent and impossible to deal with. Why do you think we married them? Nobody else will have them. You don't regret it any more than I do. <laughs> You're late. I figured you'd show up here at the crack of dawn, ready to move in for the kill. Let's skip the foreplay, Robert. You have one hour to come up with $50 million, and you don't have it. Well, I'll bet you know where I can get it. C.C. Capwell, corporate savior. Oh, no, I'm not out to save anybody but myself and my family. But I'm offering you $500 million for Capwell Amante Industries. Hmm. That's a lot less than you paid, but I figure you're willing to take the loss rather than end up in the gutter. Well, I'm not so sure I want to sell. <laughs> By the way, I see it, my boy, you don't have much of a choice. Well, I might just, you know, give it all up, walk away a free man. No, you couldn't walk away. Because you'd be losing. That's something you can't handle. Well, one thing I learned from Eden is that some things are lost for a reason. I've changed my priorities. Oh, spare me. Your priorities are only to yourself. The one thing you can't stomach is the fact that a dog like Tanel is taking everything away from you. I'm your only chance of walking out with some semblance of pride. That's something you desperately need, whether you admit it or not. Being able to walk away with your pride is your hang-up, not mine, CC. I'm nothing like you. I didn't take Daddy's fortune and turn it into my own. I started with nothing, and I know what it'll be like to go back to that. I'm not afraid to start all over. Your nobility brings tears to my eyes. Now, shall you draw up the papers, or shall I? Why would I give you that satisfaction? All right, I tell you what, don't do it for me, do it for Eden. You owe her at least that much. You'd use anything to get what you want, wouldn't you? Do we have a deal? I'll draw up the papers and have them sent to your house by 5.30. That's a perfect time. Oh, I wanted to surprise you. Go away outside. Oh. No chance. Everything looks too wonderful. Including you. Tastes even better. <laughs> Thanks. It looks like we're both trying to make this a special occasion. Yeah. Any particular reason? Mine's just loving you. I guess mine is saying that I'm sorry. You have nothing to apologize for. Well, that's not exactly true. I haven't been up front with you the last couple of days. I, uh... I've had a, a, a career change, so to speak. The department let me go. I'm sorry. What happened? Uh, they made it sound like they were trying to promote me by offering me this stupid desk job I knew I wouldn't accept. They didn't give you a reason? No, it doesn't make any sense. It just, they just jerked me around. I... I, I No Listen, uh, you don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. Well, I just, I don't have an explanation for it. But that is no excuse for having kept it from you. You're telling me now that's all that matters. I just didn't want to worry you. I wasn't worried. Uh, I mean... You already knew? Laura told me. She didn't know that you didn't tell me. And you decided to keep it a secret, too. Because I felt guilty. I mean, after all, the reason that you were fired was because of me. I'm the only one to blame. It was my circumstances with Robert that made you bend the law and neglect your job. Eden. 
It isn't like I didn't know what I was doing. Darling. I will lose a thousand jobs before I let another man mess with my marriage. The well-being of my family is the only thing I really care about in this world. You also care about your job. Being fired was not easy for you. Work matters to you. Darling, a couple years ago I walked away from my career because I thought I'd lost you. I'm no good for myself or anything else without you. So stop blaming yourself. Easier said than done. I don't think negligence had anything to do with it, quite frankly. I mean, in the past, when I've walked too close to the line, they've let me know. This time, they've let me walk right past it and don't say a word. I don't buy it. So what's the other reason? I think somebody wanted to keep me from finding something out. So they fire you? I mean, who would do that? I have a lot of natural enemies. One of them wanted to keep me as far away as possible. Who? I don't know enough to know yet. Well, I know one person who doesn't want to stay away from you. That is the farthest thing from my mind. But can she be trusted? I don't think so. Good. That's the last thing we should do.